actually in any kind of paranormal group per se. Um, I mostly do most of my investigations in my own house, which is haunted. I live just directly across the road from me. There's there's an ancient graveyard, and um, it's not there now. It's a field, but we get a lot of activity in this house. Um, so I kind of try to document as much of that as I can. I've been investigating the paranormal for approximately 13, 14 years um, since things started happening in this house, since we moved in. Um, it's been quite interesting for me. Um, I was only quite young at the time, so um, things things unexplained things would happen, we would hear noises, see things, the kids would um, wake up in the middle of the night screaming, um, things would get moved. Um, we've almost had about seven fires in this house since I've been here. Um, like toasters turning on itself and it's, it's crazy so um, I try to do document as much of that as I can. I have seen things throughout my life, um, mostly when I was younger I can remember um, this one time um, when my grandfather died, um, I was on about five at the time and uh, just after he died, he was talking to me, and I said to my mum, um, you know, granddad was, and she was like, don't be silly, he's dead, he's not here, and he was in heaven, and I couldn't understand um, what was going on, because I was only young at the time, so I didn't understand it. But um, that's uh, that's why I kind of do the things I do now, is because I, I still remember that event quite clearly. So that's why you know, this this stuff is interesting for me. Um, the most interesting thing that's happened to me, um, I used to work um, late late nights at this place, um, and I came in from work, I think it was just past midnight, and I, I went into the, the bathroom, you know, to do the business. And just as I entered the bathroom, something fell down the stairs and it hit the bathroom door um, that was quite interesting for me um, as soon as I opened the door I had like a like a whoosh of air hit me in the face and it kind of creeped me out I ran upstairs and went to my bed I didn't get up for the rest of that day um, Um, during investigations, the, the most thing I would probably use is probably a tape recorder, um, a digital tape recorder or camera. Um, that's the most effective thing for documenting um, instances or EVPs or anything that happens. Um, you should always have at least a tape recorder going on in the background to capture anything. And you, can, you can reference back to anything that happens um, because the tape recorder never lies. probably been on about about six or seven actual investigations um my most recent one was only a couple of couple of months ago um just just uh just after christmas time um that that was probably the the, the best one i've been on um we had a team of people there we had some psychics there we do media board sessions and stuff and it was it was quite good um the interesting thing is my my brand new camera wouldn't, wouldn't take pictures. Um, it kept freezing up on me, and it was, it, it was working perfect. Um, the batteries died on it. I, I went through about five batteries in only a few hours. Um, it was quite unreal. Um, but most of, most of my investigations take place in my own house, so I don't have to go far to um, do any do anything. Um, I mostly do them in my haunted kitchen. So, yeah. Um, the greatest part of doing um, investigations for me is probably when you get evidence of something, um, whether it be an EVP or anything. Um, when something happens, it usually it's usually quite exciting, um, because it's unexplained. Nobody can explain it. So it's the the best the best part for me is figuring out what what caused it, what happened, the you know, the scientific aspect of what 
what um what what caused that to happen um it's it's all it always makes good debate for um for weeks after um an investigation you know um that's probably the best thing for me is the the figuring out what the aftermath <laughs> of what happened um Um, I'm not actually afraid for my own safety or anything like that. Um, I'm more concerned of the other people around me at the time. Um, you know, I've never encountered anybody being hurt or had the feeling that somebody would be badly hurt um, or something bad would happen. Um, I've never been in that kind of situation. Um, but um, the, 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 for the most part, I'm not. I'm not afraid that you know something will happen or anything like that. Um, I'm just more cautious than anything. Um, I think if you stay cautious and you know be sensible, because we we are dealing with something we don't know, so we are we're, we're not aware of what the capabilities are or what could happen. So I think the best the best policy is to stay stay somewhat um, you know cautious. Um, to anybody starting out, I would probably um, advise them not to spend um, all their hard-earned cash on things that they don't need. Um, just something like a, anything that can record audio or something like that um, is enough to get you started out. Um, that could get you into EVP um, kind of stuff. Um, it could get you into documenting things or even, you know, just, just, just go on a couple of, um, you know, group events or anything like that gets get get into all that kind of stuff and then you can kind of see what they're using how how things work for them and if interested you know you can you can splash out and get some stuff but if starting out you know until you until you know how things work at least um keep hold of your credit card <laughs> because the the worst thing the worst thing that could possibly happen is you buy something and it doesn't work and it puts you off the whole thing Yeah, Ouija boards. <laughs> um, I personally don't touch them. Um, for personal reasons. <laughs> but we we did do it on a vigil we were doing. Um, on this place. Um, it's um I've got some videos on it. Um, and one of our crew members got possessed, and it was quite t <laughs> it was quite scary, because we were like twenty feet underground and. It was crazy because we, we couldn't get out, so it was like mayhem, and we had no lights or power or anything, so it was it was it was quite scary. Um, all we had was candles and a few torches, and uh, being stuck in this kind of cave, it was quite scary. So, um, and it was all because of a Ouija board. <laughs> um, spirit boxes, um, th those those for me are quite interesting because, um. There's only two possibilities that it is spirits talking to you, or it's just radio waves coming in. It's it's kind of these things that you have to decide for yourself. And um, me personally, um, I believe they do work, or I wouldn't be making one myself. But yeah, they, uh, my my opinion is that they can work in the right hands. Um, you've got to kind of keep a a scientific sort of aspect on 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 what is because if if you're sucked into the thing that is working it's talking to you you, you you're, you're wasting your time you've got you've got to keep you know a scientific you know theory on you know this might not actually be spirits talking to you but figuring that kind of thing out is quite it's quite fun um i quite like doing spirit boxes and i would encourage other people to at least try it <laughs> but on ouija boards um that's that's um <laughs> uh that's another story <laughs> i believe the anything that can record audio is probably going to work the best um just because myself personally i've had a lot of experience with um evp so um at least give that a shot um 
or try things that other people are using. Um, at least try and get a free copy or something. Um, but don't automatically validate that it works because there there are applications out there that are programmed to make make it sound like it's um, working. Probably the best things to go for is a tape recorder, video camera, recording device, and probably a ghost box of some sort. Um, you know, have a look around, see see what people recommend. But I wouldn't be spending a lot of money on things that that aren't proven. Um, I'm, I make uh, this spirit box, and even that, I wouldn't. I wouldn't hundred percent validate that that works because we don't know. Um, it does appear to be, um, intelligent sometimes, but, you know, you never know. Um, the worst thing I've ever came across is probably um when I was sleeping. Um, I woke up and. We. We saw a, sh a shadow, um, we used to have the kids in our room because our house is quite small. So there was a dark shadow above their bed. Um, at this point we've been getting a lot of trouble for a few months. And what what actually happened, the kids would wake up in the middle of the night screaming. Um, typically between hours of 1 and 3 in the morning. And it used to go on like a kind of cycle. Um, it would happen a few days, stop a few days, happen a few days, stop a few days. And you, you could kind of time it. And one time we seen this kind of shadow of their bed. And it kind of freaked the hell out of me. Um, so. And we, we have recorded a shadow on one of our CTV cameras. Because um, soon after that. We put in CTV system in all the bedrooms. Um, hoping to capture whatever was causing the problem. And we did actually capture it in the, the kitchen doorway. Um, this is why I call this the haunted kitchen. Because a lot of stuff happens in here. Um, we've had about almost seven fires in here at least in the past 13 years and it's it's crazy, it's quite scary sometimes we have to go around the house checking there's nothing near anything just because the, the possibility that it might go on fire um, it's quite scary and quite real um, so that's probably the, the scariest thing I've came across yet The theory of why ghosts exist um, I don't really have any kind of theories. Um, I believe something happens to us when we die. I'm not sure what. Um, but the way I look at it is, um, we weren't here at one point. Why worry about what happens to us when we die? Because, you know, however old you are, before you were born, you were never you never existed in the first place. So it's it's uh, pointless worrying about what happens when you die because you know, you've lived your life and then you pass on, um, something else will happen. We don't know what. It's uh, it's, it's quite fascinating to try and find out, but um, I've no real theory of what happens. I mean, we might become spirits. Um, who knows? Um, I don't think I've ever been a skeptic or non-believer. Um, I always keep a scientific aspect to everything because um, a lot of stuff happens, you know, every day and we dismiss it as unknown experiences. Um, you know, some people put it down to paranormal, which it could be, uh, you know, a perfectly normal experience, like something just tipping over. Um, it could just be, you know, gradually doing that over a period of time and just suddenly falling. You know, some people might put that across as a paranormal experience, but it, but it was a perfectly natural phenomena. Um, I would probably say that um, I'm sort of 50-50, because I have seen a lot of stuff myself. And whatever that is, it could be, you know, spirits of people you knew or whatever, I don't know. It could be something totally different. But um, that's what we hope to try and find it one day. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm kind of on the fence, more towards believing in spirits. You, you know, you, you have to kind of, you know, outweigh one, one or the other. But uh, I tend to more believe in it than I don't. Otherwise, I wouldn't do the stuff I do. <laughs>
but that's that's my take on it. <laughs> Um, I think the only other thing I'd like to probably say is um, with the, with recently um, over the last couple of years there's been a lot of a lot of um, applications getting brought out um, for the Android for iPhone whatever um, I would just like to um, make you aware that being a developer myself I know how how easy it is to um, to make an application do something um, you know that 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 could that people would be sucked into believing that it 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 does something that you know paranormal and it is it's probably just programming that's making it do the things it's doing. Um, typically, like the you know the radar apps you get, um, little dots appear on the screen, you know all that's kind of just programmed to make it do that. And a lot of a lot of the application um developers stay on their their site. That is uh, for entertainment purposes, which is fair enough. You know, I'm not. I'm not uh, here to um, to disrespect those developers. Um, if they want to make entertainment apps, that's that's fine. Uh, but my take on it is, um, there's no point in trying to make one if it's not actually doing the thing it's saying it's doing. Um, both of my applications for the the paranormal, um, I state on it that it's uh, experimental. It either works or it doesn't. Um, it's free, you know. <laughs> it's not there to in, in, intended to trick people into believing something that's not there. Um, it would it would just be wasting my time, and it would waste a lot of other people's time. And um, also, if you if if you're thinking of buying applications, check out what the developer support is, because um, if they're not supporting their application, they're probably taking your money um, with my applications are free and I still anybody that comments on it I, I go back and I'll comment back to them you know thanking them for getting the application whatever even if they didn't like it I mean there's some instances where people you know crap and I still you know thank them for the, for the time downloading and trying it because at the end of the day it's not going to work for everybody um, there, there are people that will like it and there's people that won't. That's fair enough. That's uh, everyone's entitled to opinion. But um, my take on it is if 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 there's a lot of support from the developer, that's he's probably behind or she is probably behind on their their you know, their their creation and their the proper stand behind it. And it probably won't be a fake intended application or entertainment based application. It probably will do the things that are supposed to do, but eh, that's my take on it. Um, just be careful, and yeah, thanks for having me. See you guys later. Oh, what up?